Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. We have guests today. They're outside, but they'll be in a little while. Oh, really? What's this? Wait a minute. Who are these people? I don't know. Where did they come from? <laughs> all right. Now, you all know Sammy and Taryn. They're from Michigan. And what have we done so far? What have you done fun since you've been here so far? Swam in the pool. We Swam fed the, pool. the animals. Fed the animals. Oh, uh, we went to look up at the bees. Oh, yeah. We went to look at the bees. What else did we do? We eat it. We, we eat, eat it. it. We're going to do some more eat it -ing. We ate a lot. We're going to eat it -ing here in a minute. <laughs> okay, speaking of that, we do have help. Taryn has become quite the chef. She has agreed to me that she needs to expand her vocabulary when it comes to food. So she's right. going to start trying a few things, right? That yeah. you've never tried before. Remember the show? Try some grub you've never tried before. Now, today we don't do a whole lot of breakfast. A lot of times we do dinner and lunch and things like that. But today we're going to do a breakfast because these kids like breakfast. They we love breakfast. We don't eat a whole lot of breakfast. Right. So... You brought me something the other day that was rather good, and I thought, well, who made that? And you said, well, it's... Taryn's recipe. Yeah. So, the last time you cooked, you made a... Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. It was rather delicious. It was delicious. Do you like the mac and cheese? How much did you like it? Really good. All right. Really good. <laughs> that was a delayed response, but I'd probably, yeah, probably get a lot of those yes, tonight. Yes, yes. But anyway, yeah. this is off the cuff. I can't promise where it'll end up, but... I know this is good, so let's get started. I know, Grandma, you start with onions like we do just about with everything. Right. What do we do first? We need to get turn the stove on and start the butter melting. All right. And how much you got here, you think? Um, I'd say about... What, two tablespoons, maybe? Maybe one or one two. One or two? Yeah. yeah. So whatever you say. I'd okay. say 55. 55 million? 55, 68, three. Right. Can I toss now, Papa? <laughs> what do you got to say? I'll toss you the green peppers. <laughs> What? He's going to toss you some green peppers. Mm -hmm. You know what? In a little while, I'm going to need you to help me cut some green tomatoes. I'm going to fry them. That's one thing that's coming up because Kelly brought me Daddy some green them. tomatoes. Yes, she did. So we're getting our butter going. Mm -hmm. What's next, Grandma? Or Taryn? Excuse need, me, this is Taryn. We need to chop up our tomatoes. Our tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't see any tomatoes. Yeah, There's we, tomatoes. We can chop we them need, up. We need to chop up our onions. Let me do that for you. Yeah. Because I'm right here. Whoa! Good. Like? And how much onion was that? Probably like a third of an onion, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah. I'd say. Less common. We're going easy, Pop, because I know with onions, you don't want a whole lot of onions. So typically, we like to use a sweet onion, like a Vidalia or a Washington sweet onion, mm -hmm. things like that. Seems to be a little easier to digest. So we're getting that going. Now what? What's the next step? You know, we can start some of her other stuff while we're waiting on those. All right. So we need five eggs. Okay, five eggs. Crack them all in here for yeah. you. Can you hold these two for me? Yeah. Wait a minute. What's this recipe called? Ooh, what do you want to call this? Um, uh, egg muffins. <laughs> egg muffins. <laughs> as, muffin. as opposed to egg McMuffins. Now listen, there's no bread in here. That's right. Which I like because um, Papa has a tendency to have his belly stick really far out when he eats lots of bread. So. It's kind of like a quiche muffin. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. kind of like a spinach quiche muffin, I think. It is. Yeah. It's in a muffin shape. It's in a yes. muffin pan. Right. But it doesn't have bread. That's right. I'm not saying I don't eat bread all the time because... Is, is Oreo made out of bread? <laughs> Those are my favorite kind What's of up, bread. What's up, buddy? Need <laughs> your other two eggs? All right, here's your five. Five mm -hmm. eggs. Yeah. Here's your whisk. Do -do -do. All right, well, she's got a couple things she needs to add to this, Papa. Okay. What was this? Now we got to add... um. One third cup of low fat yogurt. Uh -huh. Low fat yogurt. Yogurt. And I know you wanted to add this too. What is this? Is a third cup of what? Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. Right. I'm digging it. So far, so you good. Scrape some of that out. Hey, do we need to uh, go ahead and drop some spinach in here? Our onions are getting good. Yes. Yep. How ready. much spinach is that? Um. What would you say, Taryn? I'd say. A cup and a half. Really, just add as much as you want, almost. Just enough to We're get filling it, it up. Because yeah. it's going to cook down. It's going to really cook down. It's going to wilt. Mm, that's good. It'll smell good. All right, so we got our spinach going here. Right. And this cooks way down. I'll switch it this. She usually cuts it with this, these nice scissors we have, Papa. Okay. She likes to chop it up a little bit. So it'll go farther in the recipe. Yes. Make it smaller. Makes it smaller. That kind of happens to it. Thanks, Tracy, for, for the nice cutters. Yeah, Tracy. What are okay, these for, Taryn? Anyway. We got some of these. Remember Papa from last night? Now, let me tell you something about it. Taryn was asking me, she said, how do you know how to make a show? What do you make a show about? I said, well, sometimes I'll sit down and, you know, read a book or think about something we have in the freezer. But most of the time, I would say 99% of the time, it's like, Nikki, what do we have in the freezer? Or what do we have laid out? Or what leftovers do we have? Now, last right. night, 
had everybody over. And we had a big fun day. We were swimming and having fun outside. And when you have a lot of people, we, we like to have a crab boil, crab shrimp boil. Right. We took a picture of what was left over. We had a whole lot of potatoes left over. We did. We had quite a bit of shrimp left mm -hmm. over. We had sausage left over. Even some corn. Some corn left over. Something. Okay, what can I do with that? So, even if you didn't have a crab boil, these ingredients go together so well. We're going to make something special. And well, we can't tell you. We got to get through breakfast first. Right. And there's some of the sausage that was left over. It doesn't necessarily have to be breakfast sausage. Yeah. Hey, what was your favorite thing you've done here so far? Swim or play with Mojo and the sheep? Play with Mojo and the sheep. Did you run with Mojo and the sheep? Are you scared of the sheep? Yeah, because the sheep are running so fast. But uh, I think the sheep are scared of you, aren't they? Did you yeah, chase them? And Mojo. Mojo's scared of you too? No. But the sheep are scared of you. I saw them running away from you. Yeah, and Mojo's not. Mojo's not scared of anything, is he? He's like a big wolf. Okay, so we're gonna add the sausage now? Yeah, how much do you think you want pop in there? Well, I don't like sausage. Add a little bit more then, so make it nice and sausagey. That's probably, what do you think, is that good, Taryn? Yeah. Is that good? Okay, so we got our spinach, we got our sausage in there, what's next? So now we gotta add the onion, sausage, and spinach mixture to the eggs. Okay, we're gonna take this and put in the eggs. Now she's stirring them, because mm -hmm. this is hot. That's not, and we don't want it to cook. We don't want them to scramble, right? Right. That's the reason we do this, Taryn? Yep. So she's stirring as you do it. She does a good job. Now these are like little baby quiches. And I like this sort of thing. I love this sort of thing for breakfast, if I do have breakfast, because you got a little bit of green in there. Oh, yeah. You got some dairy. You got some little chickens that didn't quite make it. <laughs> now, did we preheat the oven by we, any chance? We did. What temperature? Good. 350. 350. 350. Woo! That smells good, doesn't it, Sammy? That smells good. Are that you hungry? Good. How hungry are you? Really hungry. All right, me too. I think that's good. So that's, let's see. I mean, nine. Three for me. Three for me. Three for me, and two for me, and one for Nikki. Okay. So they'll watch us eat? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Is All that right. it? That's it. Just like that. How yes. long does it go? Probably 25 to 30 minutes. 25 to 30 minutes, all right. I'm gonna look at my watch. All right, you wanna put them in? Yeah. Those are looking pretty good back there. What do you think, Taryn? I think they're looking pretty good. It's been 18 minutes. All right, that being said, I have got me some hot grease going here, and Kelly's got me some fried green tomatoes, which I'm gonna start to cut here on my mandolin. Those are good looking tomatoes. Aren't they though? That makes life easy for you, as long as you don't get your finger in the way that you don't bad. want to do. Now look what we've got. We've got perfect wow. sliced tomatoes. What do we wanna do for the perfect fried green tomato? Now, there's so many things that you could use. I had a buddy do this one time, it's absolutely wonderful. It's the same thing. Like we would be doing chicken parm yeah. or anything. Dry to wet. Mm -hmm. What's your wet? A wet is eggs and just a little bit of heavy cream. This is Italian flavored panko. Yeah. Now it gives a really interesting flavor and texture. You can use cornmeal, you can use flour, but we're gonna do it this way because Grandma Nikki likes them that I way. I love them like this. Now these kids may have never had fried green tomatoes because they're from Michigan. They don't make them up there like this. Mm -hmm. You want to try them? They sound good? Yeah. Fried green tomato. We're they sound good? Expand our repertoire. Yes. Are they still it's juicy still... inside when they're fried? You'll taste them in a minute. They minute. are. It's hard to explain. You just have to try one. They're delicious. They're absolutely wonderful. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Now we can, we have before, we have candies. Yes, we can we them up at the cabin. Those turned out wonderful. I'll show you just a little bit of that. You can can green tomatoes to fry later. Mm -hmm. Now see, that's already flavored. It's got some, just a little bit of Italian flavor on them. How do you know when they're completely cooked? They have golden brown. Once the other side gets good and brown, I'll turn them back over. That's look good. And they'll be nice and crusty. Oh, they're beautiful. Things have come out perfect here, time-wise. My fried green tomatoes are done. Now I made me a little bit of dip. I've done this before on the show. This is a little bit different. You see recurring things here. You can change something up a little bit. For this particular recipe, 
So we took Thousand Island dressing, some mayonnaise, and some smoked paprika. Yeah. Talk about beautiful dip for that. And let's see you pull those out of the oven, Grandma, if you will. Let's let those cool, let's let those cool, and then we'll try them both. Anybody else want hot sauce? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, right, I want to see you try the fried green tomato. Dip it in a little bit of your sauce. Her first pepper. time ever. <laughs> what do you think? Good. That was a oh, delicious duh. reaction. So I already know Sammy likes it. Sammy's already, go ahead, dig in, Sammy. You need all you want. Mmm. 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 You got a crunch. Oh, wow. Good, Papa. I'm telling you what, this is really, is really something. All finger foods here. Yes. Now, muffin, I guess, doesn't mean it has to have flour in it. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. What delicious. Oh, wow. Oh, that's yum, good. Yum, really yum. good. Mm. Mmm. 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 So I'll tell you what we'll do, we will eat this stuff, we'll clean up. Y'all want a nap? I do. I, I do. We gotta take a nap. Let's take a nap. Let's, let's, let's not like take a long nap, like a 20 minute couch right. nap. Okay. We'll take a nap okay. and then by that time, we'll put that in the fridge. By that time we'll probably be hungry again. Yeah, and we'll eat All again. Right, let's take a nap. That's good. Is anybody hungry? Let's make some new food. We're not just doing this because we have these leftover ingredients. We're, I've had this recipe without having these leftovers. I yeah. went out specially and bought these just for this. Now this is a popular thing to be down around South Carolina to use, but. We just did happen to have everything. It was perfect. It worked out just fine. So, Grandma, if you will, okay. if you'll cut me up some onions and, you know, about the thumbnail size, okay. fingernail size, we'll take those mushrooms and trim them down a little bit too. And we're going to make us a little sort of a shepherd's pie, I guess you could say. Okay. Grandma made homemade dough. What do you think about that, Sammy? You see yeah, that? That's good. Yeah, yeah. Karen actually helped me. You see how the how nice they look? She took a Beautiful. fork. I know. Hand me those uh, mushrooms, and I'll hand split those up into bite-sized pieces. Ready for onions? Ready for onions. Mhm. Mm so we had some mushrooms left over from the other day. This is this is all leftovers, but it was it was really kind of handy that we had all this stuff at the same time. Can I put them in too? Yep. I have a question, Papa. Here, hold your hand out. Hold your hand out, and I give them to you, and you put them in. About how many mushrooms and onions are you putting in there? You know, the onion, it was probably a third of a medium-sized onion, and I would say there's probably three-quarters of a cup of mushrooms. Now, you know these mushrooms cook down. They cook way down. How many oh, yeah. peppers you want, Papa? Um, you know, Grandma, I think that's actually probably enough. Now, a lot of times, you want to break that in half and then put that in there? Perfect. Perfect. Really? Can the peppers go in? Papa? They can go in. Normally, I would make a great big skillet of this mm -hmm. if it was a bunch of people eating it. I'm going to split one with Sammy, and you're going to split one with Taryn. Okay. So we're going to just cook this up in butter. Yummy. And wait till this starts smelling. You know what I want to say? What's that? Yum, Papa. Yum, Papa. Yum, Papa. That's, That's all I want to say. Papa. Let's go back to the first time we heard that phrase. I had my posse out in front with their cowboy hats out. He almost fell off the chair. <laughs> almost fell off the chair. He was excited about that. Let's see if we can hear this. You it. Carrots in the sauce. Yes. That'll be yum. Okay. That'll be yum. <laughs> Carrots in the sauce will be that absolutely would be yum. outstanding. That would be yum. Yeah. So every time we're cooking in the kitchen now, Grandma says, that'll be yum, Papa. So what do you think, Sammy, about this? Really good. No, you're supposed to say yum, Papa. <laughs> yum, Papa. That'll be yum, Papa. Yum, Papa. All right, now, I'm going to let this cook down. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. That smells, see? That smells so good. Just wait. Just wait. Let you it were talking to Taryn about cooking the other day and how they uh -huh. start with this. Mm. So we're going to take this right here, the onions, the mushrooms, the peppers, 
the Gigglers. We're going to put them in the pan, too. Yeah. So oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's yeah. cook them up. <laughs> okay, now, we just had some fried green tomatoes, which are absolutely so good. Wonderful. You know, there's all kinds of seeds that you could buy, or plants that you could buy. Some of them are just across the counter. Then there's heirloom. What is uh -huh. heirloom? Let's go visit our friend Brenda up at the cabin okay. and see what she has to say about heirloom seeds. Very important. All right, we're at the Harvest Cabin today with our new buddy Brenda Reynolds. Now, I found her on Facebook and we got to talking back and forth. Next thing you know, I found out she's an artist. Look, she made this basket. It take me 2,600 years, and I'd have to use my hands and my feet and my teeth, and I still could not make it. And you're an art, you're an outdoor artist. I've seen your stuff where you've done. Uh, I think I saw a musky. So you're multi-talented. But the thing that really got me interested is the fact that you can your own stuff. You put up your own stuff. But even more than that, is you've got all these heirloom seeds. Mm -hmm. Some of them very particular to Kentucky. Some of them from Texas. But first of all, what is an heirloom seed for those who don't know? It's a seed that's been handed down from generation to generation, and you take like any of your beans or anything, uh, when you plant it this year, then next year, you're gonna get the same thing. So it's not a hybrid? No, a hybrid is a seed that has been taken, they've taken two different types of seeds and cross-pollinated them. That's your hybrid seed. And then you can't, well, if you took the seeds from those, you... You won't get the same thing as you planted the year before. So this is very valuable to have if you want to continue and hand on. And some of these things have been handed down. Red Bloody Butcher, 105 days, originally from Virginia and grown since 1845. Wow. Great for grinding into flour mm -hmm. or cornmeal and can be eaten corn, as corn on the cob. Mm -hmm. As long as it's in the milk stage, you know, before it gets too hard. Grown since 1845. Mm -hmm. This one here is the turkey crawl bean and the way the story goes with this that someone killed a turkey and the beans were in the crawl of the turkey and they took the beans out and planted them wow and that's how they got their name turkey crawl bean all right now everybody talks about greasy beans mm -hmm. why do they call them greasy beans and what history do they have it's in because the way they look the bean itself has got like a shiny look to it mm -hmm. a lot of your beans are kind of rough mm -hmm. uh fuzzy feeling but no those they're real greasy looking. Mm -hmm. And of course you've got your white ones and your brown ones. Uh, they, they don't get real big, mm -hmm. but they're really packed with flavor. They're real popular in Kentucky. But now a lot of people think that your organic seed are heirloom seed, but they're not. The organic part has nothing to do with the seed. It's just how it's been growing. They've not used chemicals or anything on it. Like these right here, the ones that I have grown and saved, they're organic heirlooms because I don't use chemicals on my food. Right. Let's talk about, I'm looking here at this envelope, Kevin Skaggs from Greenup, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. He says they were brought back from Germany during World War II. So this fella who went over to fight, he was out there probably in a battle situation. Mm -hmm. He probably saw a garden. He was a farmer. Mm -hmm. He saw, hey, those are good looking beans. Yeah. I guarantee he took those out immediately dried them and brought them home. That's yeah. a story in itself mm -hmm. right here. Jess Taylor. Mm -hmm. And a lot, of, a lot of your older beans, the true name of them has been lost, mm -hmm. but if you take a family that has grown the beans for many years, they will add a person's name mm -hmm. to the bean. All right, let's talk about, it's the end of the season. Okay. And you are collecting your beans. Now most of them, you, I know what you do with them. They end up in a can. <laughs> Always save seed. Always save seed. How do you do that? How do you save the seed <coughs> and get it to this dry stage and make sure make sure that you have something, a viable okay. uh, seed for next year? Okay. Normally what you would do, you leave them on your bean vines until the, the hole turns brown. Mm -hmm. And then you pick them and just hull them out. But if we have a real rainy fall, I pick my beans when they start turning yellow mm -hmm. and I put them in a building on the screen and let them dry there. Because okay. if you leave them out on the bean vine in a lot of rain, they'll sprout in the hull. That ain't good. No, you lose your seed. And there you go, that's all you do. Now that's what about a tomato? Now what about if you have a plant that's that's uh, that's very when, moist? Well now your tomato, when your tomato is ripe and ready to eat, you collect the seed then. Mm -hmm. 
How do you how do you get the film off of them and, and well, dry? It's them? recommended that you ferment them, but I have found an easier way around that. Um, they add a little miniature pressure washer, mm -hmm. and I just spray the seeds off good, and then it does the same thing as fermenting them, but in a whole lot less time. And then after you get out, everything yeah, off, I just do you put, put them, them out on, a, on a paper plate or something like that, mm -hmm. and let them dry. And how long do you let them dry before you? I probably let mine dry a week. You and, know, and you can tell by feeling of them. And then you put them in a little bag, put mm -hmm. them in the fridge, mark them down. Obviously, uh, yeah. it's important to. Yeah, I keep records of all of them. I store mine in the freezer. Mm -hmm. So this is, is this how you store them? Just in a little freezer mm -hmm. bag? You can. And or just... you can put them in a cannon jar. Mm -hmm. But for me, it saves space to put them in bags. Well, thank you so much for coming you're up welcome. today and showing us what you have. This is so cool. And if you're interested in this, get on Facebook and just put up heirloom yeah. seeds. Heirloom seeds or that'll seed trade. You something. Yeah. It'll, you'll find them. They're, they're all over. Thank you so much. Hi, right, Grandma. If you will put me some, put me like one stack of that in there. The one in the front here? The yep. stick? Okay. That one in there. I'm going to put some shrimp in here. Oh, yum. Don't need a lot because we only got two little pies here. And we're using all our here, leftovers. Hold your hands up. Let's see. Maybe two more. I'll put one more in, Taryn. Okay. Okay, that's, that's it. Perfect. That's perfect. Good all job. We need. Good job. Yeah, that was really so good. So now, now, see, we got our meat in there. Now wait till that starts smelling good. We're Yum. I now it's gonna take our All right. some more sister shower sauce. Oh, that smells good. Just wait. Smell that. Now we're gonna take our soup <laughs> and put it in here. Yummy. And we're gonna put some black pepper. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm glad Glenn's not around because he would just take that and go. A so little bit of salt. I'm gonna Eat put just a little bit of butter in there. Good idea. Now, let's melt that down. It's so good. It's going to be so yum. Mm -hmm. And Grandma Nikki, if you would like, you can bring those potatoes up here. I we're will. Getting, we're getting close. So, just a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Yum, Papa. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So now, Grandma, if you'll lift up that pie dish, put that right in there. Just like so. Is that going to be our yum pie? Oh, yeah. We're gonna take our mashed potatoes and we're gonna make. Oh. Ooh, so that's your, uh, that's that's your lid. Top. What do you think I like that. that. That's a good idea. Now you think about when you put that in the oven at about 425 when that gets nice and brown. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Yeah, it'll be yummy and that's the, that's, silver. That's the top. It's gonna be so good. Papa, that looks so gummy. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. gonna be mm -hmm. <laughs> A little bit of smoked paprika uh -huh. on top. All right, now Grandma. It's like sprinkles mm -hmm. on the pot. Exactly. Let's go ahead and pop those in. Sammy, Taryn, what do you think? I think they look amazing. Look like a pot pie. What happens if we cut into that? Look. Oh, look at the wonderful stuff mm, down in there. Look at this crust. Smell that. Oh, that's oh. crust. Got some now that's potato. really hot, Sammy. Mm. Blow it out. Mm. <laughs> Blow it out. Blow it. It's, it's really hot. <laughs> you blew it right off into the stove. <laughs> okay, ready? I think you got it. Go ahead and take a taste. Mm. Mm. Is it hot? Mm. <laughs> oh, no, no. It was hot, it fell. It it's really good. That being said, we all have we, we have a lot of good recipes, Grandma. Where would you go? I go, to Tim, I go to TimFarmersCountryKitchen.com. Pop, that's where I go. That's where I would go. You He's can feeding have, you. Good. That's good. Not now, that pork. Also, we have a Facebook page, Tim Farmers Country Kitchen Facebook. We would like to see you there. Like yeah. you to be our friend, but it's so hard. What do you have to do to get there, Miss? You have Farmer? to hit like. Like. That's, that's right. it. You know what? We've had a fun week. We still have a few days to go. We might get into some more trouble. We might go out on the boat. Would you Ooh, like to go out on the boat? the boat? Would you like to go out on the boat? Okay, we'll leave you behind with the dog. No! Okay, <laughs> then maybe you can go. Mrs. Farmer, it's all about good times. Good friends. Really good eats, Papa. We Look might see you next week if we survive. Yum, Papa. That's all I have to say. Yum, Yum Papa. Papa.
To order a cookbook, email timfarmerck at gmail.com.